I was 11 when we went to one of the military bases with the school excursion and we had an opportunity to visit one of the helicopters. One of the pilots let us in to take the pilot seat, press some buttons and then I came home I said that's it, I'm gonna be a pilot. As it was 2007, I think it was still the peak. So as uh, the opportunity at that time was better, then I joined the university, there was still the national carrier in Lithuania. So we had some good options to become a pilot in that airline after graduation. But as the aviation is all the time ups and downs, so during the studies, there was a moment there was like nothing in Lithuania. So of course there was like what I'm gonna do once I'm finished, but I never gave up. So for me it was easy. Of course, I had the goal that I must pass all the exams and I want to get the license or to start flying as soon as I can. I found the option that there is a company in uh, Lithuania I wanted to work home, so I applied for the wizard. But during the interview with HR, they said, uh, is it only the one base you want, is it Vilnius? I said, no. If you pick me up as a pilot, I can work in any basis. I just want to start flying. The whole process, it took like, we had to wait like two or three weeks after the interview. I was checking the email every day. And finally, I have got the answer that yes, I'm in. So I was very excited. After that, uh, I had to take the typewriting training in uh, Toulouse, in the Airbus Training Center. So I stayed there for five weeks and during the interview, I met one guy from Latvia. He passed as well, so at least I know someone. I was not alone. In the group, I was the only girl at that time. We were six from Wizer and two from the other airline. It was uh, hard, because you had to put so much information in your head. And it's different, it's a jet. And I was flying the single engine aircraft before. Well, I never felt different because I do the same job as a man and if there is like, a, I don't know, bad weather or something else, I go out, I check the aircraft as a, I mean, the other pilots, so there is like, oh no, it's windy and raining and I cannot go. And uh, one of the instructors, I think it was like, to inspire me, he said, I'm not a woman, I'm a, I'm a pilot in my job. The job itself is not very hard, it's more like uh, maybe mental. You have to have some logics and mathematic thinking and to react less uh, in situation. I think that it's a nice job for the girls as well. And it's very romantic because I can see the sunrise and sunset, it depends on the day. And I see the stars and at the 10 kilometers it's closer and from there. And I can see all the and those storms very close, but I think from a safe distance. If there is a good visibility, you can see a lot from the sky. So we're checking the cities, uh, what we can see. So basically they say, okay, now I can go visually. And if we land, for example, for runway, one night in Vilnius and you have a very nice view of the old town on a good day. So you can get a lot during the flight, there is ATC very helpful usually if you ask them.